overall, pretty pleased with that performance. We were tough, we dug in. It's so disappointing. If you could ever describe how that game was going to go one way or another, it would have been down to a set piece. Um, so really disappointed to concede a, a goal like that. We were in the right place at the right time for the majority of that game. And it's you know one challenge and it's fell to the lad inside the box and they finished it off. There was nothing in the game. I think anyone who's here could see there was absolutely nothing in the game on a, on a difficult surface, difficult conditions to play football in. We had a few half chances, limited them to half chances. So, that's why it's so disappointing. I can't, they gave it absolutely everything and it was such a difficult pitch to, to create clear-cut opportunities. You're not going to play free-flowing football in, a, in conditions like that. Um, but any football that was played was generally played by us to, to the, to the, for the large part. But, like I said, I can't hide my disappointment about the goal, but I'm still proud of the group in terms of the way they committed to the game. It was small margins, wasn't it? And, and the one that comes back off the crossbar, it, Ryan, yeah. it, for his performance, prob probably merited that goal, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, but like I said, it, it wasn't a game for clear-cut opportunities. So he's going to take something special or a mistake or a set-piece. And we, we've got to look at it in detail, but it might have been a... I don't think we switched off in any way. I just think we, it's a challenge where the ball's broke to the lads really close to our goal. We generally defend wide free kicks pretty well, as we do the corners, um, so that's why it hurts even more because, like I said, I, I can't fault their effort and endeavour. They, they committed to the way we wanted to play today, which was a battle. Everyone knew we come here, it was going to be a battle and, and in, in previous years we, we wilted under physical pressure. We certainly did do that today, we looked like a, a physical team, but it doesn't count for nothing, but it hurts. It hurts when you go away 1-0 and, and you come away with nothing. Um, you handed a, a, well it's not really a debut because he obviously had been at Exeter City be, before but uh, a start to Kane Wilson, what did you make of his performance today? Please, he, he ran, he's physical, he's quick to the ball, he's got a, he's got a, a youthful enthusiasm about him which just means he can, he can travel with the ball, even him, he found it difficult today at times. Um, I thought it was a really good battle between him and, him and their wing back, um, their wing back got man of the match but Kane wasn't far behind that, in all honesty. I was pretty pleased with Kane. Like I said, it, we weren't going to create clear-cut opportunities today, as, as were they. Um, so it was going to be going to be fine margins. And unfortunately for us, it's gone their way. When you go a goal, goal down, then you start chasing it. And our, our usual style of chasing the game is to play football. And, and that ball just wouldn't move quickly enough on that pitch or cleanly enough for us to have been full control. It's, it's, it's bitterly disappointing, but we pick the group boys up and then we go on to the next. I suppose it was one of those games where the first goal is quite important, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And the half chances in the first half of Dara's header and, and Nicky's shot blocked, and, and those were the, that was a game. You know, Nicky had another one blocked in the, in the second half, and obviously Ryan Bowman's hit, hit the crossbar. Like I said, it was going to take something special or set piece, and we're just so disappointed that we were on the end of the, the set piece goal against us.